I know this is like not the time to be like talking about this type of shit, but my mum's car is genuinely the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's really embarrassing to fucking drive this shit. Okay, so this is my first vlog from start to finish. This is so punishing, holding this fucking camera while other cars are driving past. Now, what the fuck? that fucking kid doing right now because I'm being a millennial Tim's gone I need a way to pump it I need a way to you know pump out this content so this is what it's going to be nowadays I'm going to cook my mum a birthday dinner tonight and in all honesty it's really fucking awkward in the house at the end of the day they still did see a video of me talking about giving a blowjob in the car so it's not you know Guys, I'm so puffed walking up that hill. <sighs> People are about to walk past and I'm not sure if I'm confident enough to vlog while I do this, so... Yeah, we'll have to get used to that, Jesus Christ. But I'm gonna buy a loaf of sourdough from Fort Greene. Because I think, A, Fort Greene sourdough is like some of the best in town. And B, if you're cooking shit, as long as you have good bread, I think, it's okay. And this isn't just a birthday meal, guys. This is about me rekindling my relationship with my parents right now. Here we are, bitch. Love sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Got the bread. Um, this is the bread they use at Celeste. The bread that I eat way too much of. I swear if this bread didn't exist, I'll be so much closer to my shred goals. Wow, this angle's not doing anything for me, but it's fine. Fuck, I missed Tim. He really got the best angles on me. Like, my right side's my good side. Which is why I'm kind of filming like this as well. Oh, that is a vibe. Now we're gonna go pick up some cake. And her favorite cake is this Korean cake called Tinkering Cake, and it's a fresh cream cake with fruit on it. So I'm gonna get one of those. And hopefully she takes me back as her son cocksucker or not. Chinese people actually have the best, most chic mask. Yeah. Oh bitch, no. How the fuck? Oh god. Fuck, 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 fuck. Could I please just have the fresh cream cake number one? So I think I broke their door because I refused to um, pull it with my hands because, you know, germs. But we got the cake. That's all that matters. I'm like taking the stairs wherever I can so I can, you know, keep my fitness up. But guys, this ain't easy. Is it all good to walk into a new world with a countdown there? It's the new world in Victoria, oh my god, don't touch my face. The new, the new world in Victoria Park is literally the best new world I've ever fucking been to. Oh bro, they have the rider. Who the fuck is a garlic man? All cooking means garlic. Fuck. My mum's birthday is cancelled if there's no garlic. So they have no garlic? Or is the whole fucking country out of garlic? Or is it just New World and Victoria Park that's out of garlic? Oh, my mum's gonna hate me. Can't stress this enough. What a fugly car. So I was just gonna announce that we're at level 3 now. So I'm gonna get this fucking garlic and go home. Fucking hell. Oh, do you guys have any garlic for stock? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Thank you. Yes. I never thought I'd be so fucking happy to see some fucking garlic. Level three. What does that mean for all the restaurants? And bars? I'm gonna go home and do some fucking research on this stuff. All that talk about level three has made me fucking starving. So, I wanna recreate something that Celeste did. It was like sourdough and anchovies. Yeah, 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 that's gonna be lunch. I'm telling you, these anchovies are a god's gift. Unboxing, um. Here we are. Oh, oh yeah. If you don't like anchovies, I don't like you. So apparently the key to this is to use cold butter. Um, yeah. 
Um, oh my god, I'm so... I'm in a panic state. Oh, 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 there. Okay. That's the what they did. They like cut it really thinly and I want it to be like exactly like that. I cut it way too thick. But you know, the more butter, the better. I'm not gonna get out of self-isolation and not get laid because I've literally become a whale. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, sourdough is perfect. Okay, it's a little bit burnt. Just scrape it off. It's as good as new. It really isn't. Oh my God. That one's good. There's so much fucking butter that I'm using. I'm gonna go into a cardiac arrest after this. Holy shit. Oh fuck, I fucked one up. No! All the... Oh, bloody perfect. Wow, okay, wow. Oh, what do they do? They top it with olive oil. Okay, is this a good brand olive oil? If it isn't, I'm really sorry, but it's just gonna have to do for now. Oh, oh shit, I really went hundies. Oh wow, wow, okay. That was a lot, um, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Level three means I won't be able to have Celeste like dining food for a while. Weird times, guys. Weird times. Um, so a four-week lockdown period has just been announced. I'm uh, I'm actually really fucking scared. I think we all are. Um, sorry about this atrocious angle, guys. I'm just it's, I'm not in the state to really think about how I look for once in my life. Um. For someone extroverted like me, it's gonna be kind of weird. But, I mean, just stay inside, folks. Yeah, and we'll get through it. I need, I need to continue cooking my mum's dinner. Oh my God, okay. The menu, carbonara, authentic style, but it's gonna be bacon, so guanciale, because we have bacon in the freezer. Don't hate me. Um, and then we're going to do some like, roast potatoes with like some herbs and we're gonna like have like a real nice fresh salad and then we're gonna have some sourdough and burrata. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good night. Um, I'll make this my, a really good birthday for my mom. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Potatoes. Okay. Here we are. Can people not call me out for my mom not buying our Groceries from like a farmer's market. We do go to a supermarket to buy all our vegetables and stuff. It's not that great of a day outside. I mean, it's not that great of a day at all. So there's some soul cooking, a lot of carbs, so that'll be good. The potatoes have been washed. Get the knife, eh? Oh. I'm really gonna be caught, caught out for my lack of knowledge when it comes to cooking, because I know fuck all. Oh, that bit of potato is a little bit rotten. Just cut that one off. So these, these are like the little um, tumors of the potatoes. You don't want them. They'll make your shit taste like shit. I like to keep the skin on on my potatoes because I find that when I go to restaurants, the fries that are really good usually say skin on. So I'm guessing the skin gives a little bit more flavor. Oh. Oh. I'll prep the Brussels sprouts. So I used to hate Brussels sprouts when I was a kid, but then, I don't know, I just like, I really like them now. That's because of American TV. American TV really did tell us to hate Brussels sprouts, but they're fucking divine. Yeah. I love them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cut some almonds, because I had this at Amano, and they had like almonds and the Brussels sprouts, and it was fucking fire. Maybe a little bit more. I really should be saving food right now in these types of climates, but I just... It's my mum's birthday. Chicken and potatoes. We're fine, we're fine. Is there a better way to cut almonds? 
Since when has cutting almonds been this fucking hard? This is why people have sous chefs to do this shit. No offense to all the sous chefs that I know. I'm sure you guys are all very talented. But isn't the sous chef that like cuts something? You don't want to cut them too much because, like, you want that crunch. But, oh, I mean, those are some fucking heinous looking almonds, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, put them in butter, mix them in the Brussels sprouts, and it'll look fine. Okay, so potatoes are done, and to be honest, I think they're overdone. Fuck my life, but it's fine. It's fine. There's a way around this. And... What I'm gonna do is put some rosemary over them. Oh no, not rosemary. Some um, sage over them. And then I'm going to put some olive oil and um, some salt and put them in the oven and just cook them while the Brussels sprouts cook. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna get through this together. Peeling and mincing garlic takes so fucking long. Thank God we have so much time on our hands now because that took me a bloody century. Holy shit. But look how good it looks. Look. I mean, it doesn't look that good, but yeah, we'll get there. And then I have some sage in here and then we're going to put that garlic and some um, olive oil and just toss it around. Maybe put some dots of butter in there as well and then chuck it in the oven and then we're good to go. I mean, anything with that much butter and oil should taste good, right? Yes. Fuck yeah. Is it true that there's like a hundred calories in um, a tablespoon of olive oil? Because if there is, fuck it. We're in quarantine anyway. Bam! I'm not sure if that butter was actually necessary. I mean, it looks really pretty, but I'm not sure if we'll like change the flavors. I mean, butter does make everything better, but we're just gonna put that in the oven and we'll let that cook now i'm gonna start on the carbonara i've actually never made authentic carbonara in my life i actually made youtube it i really like that girl molly on delish molly delish carbonara okay they say you should use guanciale but Guys, I have bacon in my freezer. And now's not the time to be, now's not the time to be picky about what type of fatty pork you use, okay? Um, I kind of ripped off the sticker of the bacon brand because I'm not sure if it's sustainable and I'm, I just don't want people to come for me. How much should I use? Like, I mean, the more bacon, the better, isn't it? Yeah, I would say like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strips of bacon. I'm gonna cook for like five people. Yeah, seven's enough. Wash your hands every step of the way with soap. I have to, I have to shut those because the lighting's glaring. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna cut these into little strips. Oh my god. Fuck. What I'm really excited about is how fucking simple the recipe is. Because I think the ingredients only call for like guanciale, which we're not using, we're using bacon. Um, and like, what was it? Like parmesan and egg yolk and some spaghetti noodles. Well, Molly says use bucatini, but I do not have time to source bucatini right now. Do I look like fucking pasta gorde or mano? I'm just a Korean boy trying to get his parents' acceptance through cooking a really nice birthday dinner during level three going on to level four. I'm just gonna have to focus and like really um, have my posture correct because I'm doing really great things for my back right now to get in the frame. So hold your thought. Bro, I should put some bacon bits in the fucking Brussels sprouts. I should have brought my mum's sashimi knife to cut this. Is bacon worthy of a sashimi knife? So what I want to do, I'm going to put these, this fatty bacon in the fry pan and then get like the 
fat from all the bacon and then get the Brussels sprouts and then put them in the pan with all the bacon fat and you'll get all crispy and yummy as. Oh my god, that is diabolical. It literally looks like fucking mint. I mean, like, hopefully the fat kind of comes out of it. Is bacon fatty enough to do that? Because I'm imagining guanciale. You know, you know what, guys? Like, the thing about cooking, it's all about, it's like a learning experience. Like, you're never actually going to, like, you never really know until you do it. So, we're all going to be learning together. The fat is coming alive. The fat is coming alive. Now, we're going to add some garlic into that. My family loves, fucking loves garlic. We'll leave that to deal with magic a bit. The flavors to blend. Okay. Here we are. Yummy ass. And we'll just leave that in there to cook. Now we'll add the almonds. And that's what is going to give it the fucking crunch. And crunch is everything to me. So the recipe calls for a quarter, three quarter cups of Parmesan cheese, and then I'm a bit shook, um, one whole egg and seven egg yolks. This is like a fucking bolt, but okay. I need to grate the Parmesan, Parmigiana Reggiano, whatever you say, however you say it, with this fucking little thing. We're gonna be here a while. Okay. Oh, it's actually all good. I literally feel like my right arm is getting bigger. Like those people that wank too much. Woo! Well, the carbonara really should have used one, Charlie, because I don't think the bacon's fatty enough. Wow, love. <laughs> um, someone once told me that eggs are a chicken's period. I've never been able to look at eggs the same. So Molly says to whisk this, and we can incorporate some air into it. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look that promising right now. I think it's because it's literally the guanciale and how I used bacon instead. I actually did fuck up, but... Uh, what can you fucking do? Okay, so... Seasoning your pasta water is the most important bit. <gasps> Whoa, salt makes the water boil way more. If you have like bland unseasoned pasta, your whole pasta ends up tasting bland as well. So although it looks like a copious amount of salt, it's necessary. I'm starting to fucking ham all my own pasta. It's just I'm not up to that tear yet. And I can't even fucking open a packet of one. Oh, let's put the whole thing in. This is Yeah. It takes a lot of believing that this will all like go in to the pot, but I'm sh I assure you it does. It really does. I mean, I think it does. It will. It will. I'm just gonna pour that over the burrata while I wait for the pasta to cook. And we'll top some of that with sea salt flakes when I serve it which is a little while away. So I would usually cook pasta real al dente, but apparently with carbonara, you don't want to cook it too al dente because there's not going to be any further cooking. Like you're not going to put this in a sauce. You're going to put it in that bowl of egg yolk and bacon. Well, supposed to be guanciale. I still can't let that go. And then um, you, it has no further cooking. So you have to cook it all the way while it's boiling. Yep, ready. Okay. Okay, so you have to keep the pasta water, some of the pasta water. And the, oh my god, wow, wow, what am I doing? Oh my god, mix that bitch. What if it scrambles? Oh my god. Fuck! Oh my god, is it scrambling? Is it scrambling? <gasps> is it? No, no, no. It's, it's doing well. Um, over here, over here. Here we go, make it more of a motion. Oh wait, I'm concentrating, please. Okay, oh fuck, and now some pasta water? Oh my god, what? <gasps> it is so hot, holy shit. Oh, and there's some guanciale fat in there as well. I mean, bacon fat. Oh my god. <gasps> Guys, I think I did it. 
add that last bit of cheese. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Guys, I think I nailed it. Add some cracked pepper. Can we just take a moment? What the heck? Okay, everyone's getting really hungry, so I'm gonna serve it up. Okay, 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 wow, wow. I've literally forgotten about the potatoes and Brussels sprouts, holy fuck. Um, um, we're okay. Guys, it's almost ready, it's almost ready. Here we are. I think I burned the Brussels sprouts a bit, but we're gonna be okay. Okay. Happy birthday, Ma. Thank you. Okay, so Brussels sprouts, burrata with olive oil and salt, or green sourdough. Um, potatoes, with, I forgot why I fucking put in it. And then the carbonara. Oh, mum, this is yours. Oh, oh. Go, so, I yeah, today made... is um, my day. It's your day? Yeah. Very salty. <clears throat> yum, but yum, good. but yum. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Mom! Do you like it? Yep. Very oh, strong. Right. Mm. Happy birthday to you! Hooray! She probably wished that her son wasn't bisexual. Happy birthday, Mum. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay during lockdown. Mmm! Oh. Where am I, though? Mum, oh Mum, show them your mouthful. Be on camera. <laughs> In there, my mouth is too big. <laughs> I get it from her.